Welcome to Fracas Blum Computer Consulting Sage Tips and Tricks. Today's video will demonstrate how to add a new user to your Sage install. For this example, we're going to set up Matt Brown as he will be starting next week and will be using Sage daily. We're going to start by going into your modules listing, choosing Library Master, opening your main section here, and choosing User Maintenance. Now, before we go ahead and set Matt up, I want to double check that nobody's already done this. So we're going to click on the magnifying glass and come up with a list of users. I can see that Matt's not in here, so we're good to proceed. Go ahead and hit cancel, and now we can start setting Matt up. This user login is going to be very important. This is what Matt's going to use to log into Sage every day. We're going to go ahead and use his three initials, and now we can start adding Matt. The user code is used when running reports and when running all audit reports as well. So make it something that is very identifiable by the company. We're also going to use his initials for this example. Users will only be prompted for a password when logging in the first time if you have passwords required in system configurations. I'm going to go ahead and skip this step. So Matt, when he signs in, will just leave that section blank. Customization group, if you have those set up, and an expiration date if Matt was a short-term employee. For this example, we're going to assume he's going to be working here for a very long time. So here we're going to set up Matt's information, his email address. You can also select a job title if you have these set up. Matt is going to be a salesperson for us. Now under the maintenance tab, you can assign Matt to multiple companies. You can set him up for all companies or specific companies. For this example, we're going to assume Matt is working with two of our companies. First one's going to be American Business Experience. We're going to go ahead and select that. And if you have roles set up, you can choose what role he will have. This will give him access to specific things in your Sage install. I'm going to go ahead and give him all access. I'm not going to give him a start date or an expiration date. This is going to be the company he's going to work in most. We're going to go ahead and now choose the second company. He's also going to work for manufacturing computer systems. Go ahead and select that. And we're going to give him all access to this one as well. But we're going to give him a start date of today and an end date of a year from now, assuming he is working on just one project with this company, and that's how long we expect him to be working there. So we don't have to remember to go back in and take him off of that. So now that we've had all of this filled in, we can go ahead and hit accept. Look into our look up here, and we can see that Matt is now set up in the system. If you'd like to change anything, if you click on him and hit select, we can make any edits in the system we'd like. We can go ahead and enter a password if we would like, or an expiration date if we know Matt is no longer going to be working with the company. Go ahead and hit cancel there, and now we're all set. If there are any issues with this, please contact your trusted consultant. For more helpful Sage tips and tricks, please check out our other videos at v-bcc.com. Thank you and have a great day.